Hello guys, the Pokemon Chaser here, and welcome to another video of Rant Radio. And today I'll be I'll be explaining about the weird cr conspiracy theories about coronavirus. And I know I, this is the second video. I probably won't be the last I talk about coronavirus in this video, but there's something's come up. A lot of them get caught. Like a lot of the um. There's been conspiracy theories now about coronavirus, where it originated. Oh, did, did oh they say it came from 5G and crap. Like, come on. I, I won't get into that for now, but I'll get into it later. Um, but what I've been hearing is, um, yeah, it's been sort of mishandled in the recent weeks and months even before it even started, like, before it even, after it started, 5G became really popular, and that's what got people to believe, oh, my video's quality is bad, but who cares, um, people started saying it came from 5G, how does, it's radiation that comes from 5G, not freaking viruses, and even if it did come from 5G, we don't, we wouldn't get a lethal dose of it. I know a lot about this. And people who believe this don't. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying bad about any of my family members who believe it. But I just don't understand people who think it came from a tower that radiates actual radiation. Radiation. Read about radiation, people. And even then, I wouldn't believe it because they're know-it-alls. Apparent know-it-alls. Even my mom caught caught in this, too. Don't, if you don't believe me, then I don't know what to do. I really don't. It doesn't come from radiation. Radiation, it's its own separate problem. Radiation is its own problem, people. And even then, we wouldn't get any lethal doses of it. How weird are people? It doesn't come from 5G towers. You know what? I'm not talking about that conspiracy theory. But another reason? Freaking bat China man-made, whatever the crap it is. It's not man-made. It's been researched to not be man-made. There was a hacker in this game. But... It's research to not be man-made. And it was made by itself. Like, it was made by nature. It was made by Mother Nature. God, whoever the cr crap created it. I mean, I'm not saying bad on garden or anything, but I believe in religion, so... If you didn't like that part, just get out of the video now. But... To be honest, um... To be honest... Man-made. Who makes man-made viruses? I know there's going to be one point where a man-made virus is going to ravage the earth and probably kill us all. But it's not man-made. We're actually getting a cure, a natural cure for it. It's not no man-made coronavirus crap. And even if it was, was man-made, we would kill it right away. We would know what it was made out of, reverse, reverse engineer it for a cure, and then just get the cure out to everything and everyone in this freaking universe. And even then, if, if, even if it was man-made, we would know who would produce it. Like, freaking, they said freaking Bill Gates produced it. So he can inject chips into you people. That ain't true. It's not. My mom got caught into this one too, and I told her out of it. This is ridiculous. I can't believe how conspiracy theories like that get in a rav ravage people's minds. They ravage people's minds off their heads. Why? Why do people make them? To be honest. It's so they gain money. It's so they gain attention. It's so they gain whatever popularity they want. Or tension. I feel like people have a pe attention spans of two seconds. I'm not saying battle my mom. She's a really nice woman. I sort of... We have disagreements. That's a thing. 
disagreements is a thing of families. But then, then this t random conspiracy theory crap is random ran ravaging people's minds. It makes me sick to the stomach. And I wish I could show my appreciation to all those people who would punch them in their faces, knock them out. This is ridiculous. Conspiracy ra theories ravaging people's minds like it's nothing than just a simple cash grab and attention clout. I don't even, I don't even heck, I don't even know what the heck that means, but probably it's gathered attention or something. And then there's this one conspiracy theory that might be true because it does come from animals. They say, they say, um, it comes from, well, one of the conspiracy theories first, it might be because of wet markets. This is the one I actually believe because China has made wet markets and you know what those are, right? They have animals locked in cages. And then the like the healthiest animal like the healthiest animals stay on the bottom, while the poorest of conditioned animals stay on top. There's bats, penguins, freaking um even pandas. Pandas, Komodo dragons, I know probably something related lizard related in wet markets. This is the actual I believe in this because in wet markets, it's proven to be really bad for economic economical circumstances. They discontinued wet markets as soon as this came up. What, like once animals get sick, it transferred down to the most healthiest animals on the planet. And then we we humans become infected for some reason. We don't know how that happens, but okay, not enough. But I think it does come from wet markets. I don't know about that. It's not clinically proven yet. But even then, if it doesn't come up true, I'll just get that out of my chest. No, they say it become like it was made by aliens. I know this is not a common misconception conspiracy theory, but it might, like, they say it might be engineered by invisible aliens. Aliens are not real, and I'll talk about that in another video, but aliens are not real. Even if they were real, they, they probably wouldn't do anything to us. Even if there's mean-spirited aliens, they, we, we will just kill them off. Even if we did notice freaking UFOs in the sky spraying coronavirus ugh, spray all over the world, we would have noticed already. It's already airborne. It, it was made by nature. No, this video is going to be long, longer than last video because I want to cover one more conspiracy theory. And it... <sighs> And it was made by, it, it, the conspiracy theory was, it was made by Bill Gates, the former CEO of Microsoft. I don't even know if he was the CEO or not, but was he? I can't remember. Was he? He might have. But I, want, I don't know why people would say that, considering he is a nice person. And the fact that they blamed him was because he's the, almost the richest person on earth. Probably is. Or is that Bill Gates? Or is that one of his cousins or something? Who's the owner of Amazon? Bill Gates? No, it's not. Um, Microsoft. Who's Microsoft? Bill Gates, I think. But considering how that contradicts, he is a white man. He owns a ri he o used to own a million multi billionaire billionaire company, and they blame him. It's not man made, and even if he was white, and the and the death toll and pe black people rise. I care about black people very much. There aren't one of my uh, like a whole bunch of them are my good friends. I just don't understand. That's racist. Well, I don't know if it's racist or not, considering how a white person made a virus to kill black people. Are you kidding me? Black people are the most divine race in our entire world. 
We used to sit on the equator. We used to be black people ourselves. Now look at us. Some of us are white. Some of us are tan. Some of us are completely black. We moved up north and our skin color became white. Because it was so cold up there back in the day. I'm not even joking. Look it up. It's actually real. We used to be tribal civilizations. And I don't know how we have different DNA and crap. Talking different ways like British, Americans, us, black people. They speak a lot differently than us. And how would a person make it so that it can kill black people more commonly? It might be the genetics of the virus. But even if it was apparently man-made, I still wouldn't believe it. I think Bill Gates cares about black people very much. And if he didn't, I wouldn't see him making a virus that killed black people. I mean, he had enough money to. But he wouldn't. Because he would know it would destroy the whole freaking planet. Like it is now, but it's not destroying our planet. We're actually containing the thing, which is actually great, considering we need to stay at home because of the stupid CDC for two months, three months, four months in certain states, certain provinces. I talked about the CDC in my last video. Need to get that off my chest, too. This is ridiculous. Conspiracy theories. Really? We need them? this time this is ridiculous and concerning conspiracy theories are the fact that destroys and divides humanity even more than it's supposed to be how are we supposed to survive all the conspiracy theories whoops but then again people want just want cash grab money they like they want they want some story that gives them money like if they report off the big brand news, like the big brands of the news, then they would hold, they would, if it was true, they would hold a whole bunch of money for that. But considering how much of people are idiots, they believe it. And they get cash. This is a way to, like, we need to prove them wrong. Like, the earth is flat. What the crap? Earth is not flat. I'm telling you. It's not flat. Like the Earth is flat, conspiracy theory. It's not flat. It's a freaking spear. But I'll talk about that in another video. Because screw that theory. Um. Alright guys, I'm done with this rant. Looks like some stupid, more stupid conspiracy theories are more coming up. I actually believe in a wet market one. Because wet market's probably do spread viruses wherever the crap that is all right guys this is another this was another episode of rant radio if you enjoyed this video then leave a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see more rant radio videos uh see y'all later i guess